Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here today, I am going to give you a tutorial of the Jarvis AI software, show you how I use it to help run my businesses, keep me creative, help me when I have writer's block and even make side income. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'm going to open up the Jarvis software here so we can take a look. Okay, so we've got the Jarvis website open here. It's just Jarvis.ai. If you don't already have Jarvis, I'll go over the pricing very briefly, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You can go up here to pricing and it'll show you the different options that it offers. I prefer boss mode. I would recommend boss mode over starter any day of the week, but starter is okay if you're just getting started. And if you need to just create short form content, if you're looking to write long form content, like blog posts and things like that, boss mode is definitely worth the money. And as of now, it's January, 2022 and they've changed their plans a little bit in their pricing. So it's even more affordable to start with boss mode than when I joined. So you can start boss mode for as little as $59 a month. If you want to, you can also try it out for free. I believe it's just the starter mode that comes with the free trial. Or if you want to try the boss mode out for a bit, if you use the link below, it is an affiliate link in the description of mine, but it gives you 10,000 free words. So you can try that out and see if it's something that you like before you continue to pay for it. So let's go ahead and log in to my account. I again have the boss mode account. So it's going to look a little different if you have the starter mode, which the only thing that's different here is this long form assistant will not be there if you have starter mode and you won't see the document editor here. But these are all of the, Jarvis calls them templates, but these are all of the templates that are available to you when you get Jarvis. And looking at this at the very beginning can seem a little overwhelming, but I promise you it's not. As soon as I got Jarvis, I jumped right in and I started experimenting and playing with all the different templates, seeing the types of outputs I can get. And let me tell you, I fell in love very quickly. As soon as I discovered Jarvis, I knew it was a tool that I could help people with. That was the main thing that I loved about Jarvis. I'm now doing that, teaching people how to make money using this AI software on the side and they are loving it as well. If you want more information about that, just shoot me a comment, let me know. But these templates are amazing. The content improver, these all that you see here in yellow are my favorites. Um, and this is just me personally for what I use Jarvis for. The content improver is amazing. Product descriptions you can write with Jarvis. You can create your YouTube topic ideas. So if you have a YouTube channel and you don't put out as many videos as you want to because you get caught up and you just can't think of anything that you want to, you know, make a video about. You can use Jarvis to come up with tons of different topics. You can use it to write your script even for your YouTube videos, your titles, your descriptions, literally everything that you need for not just YouTube, for emails, for social media, for, again, writing blog posts. I use this to write blog posts. And it is just amazing. These two are also one of my favorites, the AIDA framework and the PAS framework. If you have a product, um, whether it's a service or a physical product, these tools are absolutely amazing for helping you communicate someone's problem, um, letting them know why that is a problem, and then offering your product or your service as a solution to them. Um, let's just say the company name here, we'll put my company, The Freelancers Playbook. I'm gonna show you guys as an example, like what Jarvis can do. And you would just give Jarvis your input. So over here on the left side is what we call our input. And on the right side is going to spit out an output after you put this in. So you put in an input and you pretty much tell Jarvis what it's asking here. So a little product description. So the freelancers playbook helps you create a
and then you put in a tone of voice. This is one of my favorites, expert copywriter. And then you just generate your content by pressing this button down here and it'll spit out the outputs over here on the right. Now, the, you can put as much as you want here, up to 600 characters to really give Jarvis an idea of what you want it to, kind of the context that you want out of your output. And then you can also select the amount of outputs over here. So if you get a plan that has, you know, a lower amount of words, you, I would definitely recommend just doing like one output at a time. I like to do up to 10 at a time, just because I am grandfathered in and I have um, unlimited amount of words that I can use, but these outputs, this could be an awesome way for you to come up with different marketing angles for your business tons of things that you can do with this Jarvis. And if there are any of these templates that you really want me to take a deep dive into and show you maybe in a separate video, um, all about one or two of these templates, just let me know in the comments I and I would be more than happy to do this. But this tutorial is kind of meant to just like walk you around, let you see the interface and take you into a few of the templates to see what they are capable of. Um, I absolutely love this one too, the email subject lines. If you have an email list, you can use this to help you come up with subject lines for your emails. So again, let's use a freelancer's playbook. You can use obviously any company or product name that you want here, not just yours. Maybe you're an affiliate marketer like me. I utilize affiliate marketing for my mainstream of income, but let's just say there's a product out there that you want to promote. You can also use Jarvis to help you with that as well. Um, so let's so you can put anything in here and it'll come up with different outputs. Again, these are your email subject lines that you can come up with. So many different things and your different tones of voice will change the outputs. So let's just see what it puts out and you can see how quickly this thing works. Yeah. So amazing stuff that this Jarvis tool does. I'm absolutely hooked on it. Um, and I have so many people now that I've gotten hooked on it too, not only because it just makes my life so much easier in my own businesses, but anyone who maybe you don't have writing skills or, you know, maybe you have writer's block. I mean, I do all the time. Maybe you are not so good at writing marketing copy. Maybe you want to run Facebook ads, but you're not quite sure how to write Facebook ad copy. Maybe you are not tech savvy, but you want a way to create some side income. You can use Jarvis to do this. Um, I teach people how to do that all the time inside my, pre my program, the Freelancer's Playbook. Um, and it works. It really, really works. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and jump over to the recipes. So Jarvis has, has different recipes that you can use as well that are really helpful when you're first getting started. I still use many of these recipes to this day as well. Um, you can use these recipes that kind of help guide you to creating content like blog posts, product review blog posts. Um, this one gives you ideas, uh, Facebook ads, so many different things. If you wanna rewrite a blog post, if you wanna write a cold email, We'll go ahead and just open this to give you an idea of what this is. There's always a little tutorial here to show you exactly how to use the recipe. And then when you are ready to run the recipe and use it, you just click run over here and then you'll put in your inputs. So you'd put your product name here, the description of your product, and then to command Jarvis to do something, you would you can highlight this or you can just put the cursor at the end of a command here, which would be this thing here that you see with the little arrow. And you would hit command 
return or command enter. I am on a Mac, so it's command return is what I hit. So let's go ahead and just like show you what this can do. Okay, so let's see what it gives us as this output here. Again, I'm putting the cursor at the end and I'm hitting command enter. So how cool is that? All I put in was the name of the product and I put in a little short description of the product and this is what Jarvis gave me. It did a AIDA outline of the Jarvis product, which is pretty cool. And then to continue writing, you would just hit Command J. You want your cursor to be right where you want it to continue to write. So I'm gonna hit Command J so you can see how this finishes this out. How cool is that? So it pretty much gives you the entire outline of this AIDA format. Um, really, really cool stuff. You can use recipes or you can go to the document editor here and create a document from scratch. Again, if there's anything that you want me to go into in more detail, let me know. I love Jarvis. It's not a secret. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Check out the Freelancers Playbook if you want to figure out how to make your money's worth and even more back. I've made 15 grand in the past four months on the side with Jarvis, using Jarvis. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, let me know. I will see you guys in the next video and take care. Bye.